Hello and welcome to Worship Today. So we prepare our worship space. We use our green cloth because we are still in the season of ordinary time. And we light our candles. We have gathered together to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit and to think about Jesus' teaching about the right priorities for our lives. Today we are thinking about the value peace. Let's start today by looking at these words that Jesus said. Do not be afraid, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. I wonder, when you think of God, what sort of picture comes into your mind? Some people think of God as an old man in the sky who only likes boring, old-fashioned, traditional things. Some people think about God as a heavenly strong man who is fierce. You don't mess with him. Some people think about God like a heavenly policeman who's always watching you, ready to pounce the minute you get something wrong. If God is like one of these three characters, it might be hard to feel peaceful. You'd always be on edge, worrying that you might get something wrong. You might feel afraid. But Jesus tells us that God is not like that. Jesus says, do not be afraid. God is our Father and he is pleased to give us the kingdom. We can live in peace. We can try new things unafraid. We don't need to be worried about getting things wrong or making mistakes. Because God isn't like some sort of heavenly policeman out to get us. God is for us. He wants us to have a go, to try new things, to be the best that we can be. Jesus says he came so that we might be fully alive. Here's a traditional tale that helps me think about this. Once there was a huge tree growing next to a river. Every year, after the river had flooded and gone down again, there was a puddle left behind in the hollow formed by the tree's roots. And every year a small school of puddlefish would settle in this puddle. They swam round and round in circles and chased waterbugs. Then one day, with a huge splash, a brightly coloured rainbow fish leapt out of the river below and landed in the puddle. The puddlefish were shocked. This visitor was big and bright and sparkling with beautiful colours. One bold puddlefish made a move forward. Who are you? he asked. Where have you come from? I come from the ocean, said the rainbow fish. What is ocean? wondered the puddlefish. Well, said the rainbow fish, thinking hard, the ocean, ocean is what we are made for. It's enormous and free. It goes on forever. You never explore to the end of it. It's full of wonderful things and creatures. It's brimming with movement and colour and life. How do you get there? asked the puddlefish, eager to discover this new wonder. Easy, said the rainbow fish. Jump out of this puddle into the river and the river will carry you there. But the puddlefish were not keen on jumping out their puddle. What if the river wasn't really there? What if there was no such thing as ocean? The puddle was boring, but at least it was safe. The puddlefish dithered and worried and talked and talked. Talking won't get you to the ocean, the rainbow fish warned them. Summer is coming. What will happen when this little puddle dries up? What will you do then? Eventually, the rainbow fish gave up and leapt back into the river and swam away. And, quite unsure... A few brave puddlefish also took the leap of faith into the river. The other puddlefish watched them go and then went back to swimming round in circles and chasing waterbugs. But the puddlefish who had jumped leapt into the river and was carried towards the ocean, the deep, wonderful ocean full of movement and colour and light. I wonder... If you were a puddlefish, would you have jumped out of the puddle and set off for the ocean? Or would you have stayed in the puddle? I wonder if you were the rainbow fish, 
what sort of things you might have said to encourage the others to go for it and jump. I wonder if there is something in your life that you've been a bit afraid of trying. And I wonder if you could go for it today. Look again at these words of Jesus. Do not be afraid, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Don't be afraid. Be at peace. God our Father is pleased to give us his kingdom and help us become fully alive. So try that new thing. Seize that opportunity. Go explore and don't be afraid. I'm going to say a prayer and if you'd like to make it your prayer too, then say Amen at the end. Lord Jesus, it's great to know that God is pleased to help us become fully alive. Help us to take every opportunity offered to us today with courage and hope. Amen. Let's say this closing prayer together. God of love, we pray for peace in our world. Shelter your children and protect us. Guide us and keep us from harm, so that we can build a world of love and live our lives in peace. Amen. Jesus says, don't be afraid. Be at peace. So go for it today. Thanks for listening. See you soon.